Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience here in the South and our online audience tuning in. Thanks to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, as we're saying goodbye to 2020, I think many people would agree this has been a challenging year in many ways. And though we have been taking care of our physical health, I think all of us would agree that most important is our mental health. Going into the new year, we're excited to welcome a, a brand new guest to our program. Dr. Daniel Van Dorn is joining us. He is a senior medical science liaison and lead scientist at Genomind. Genomind is a company that provides mental health genetic insights. We're going to talk to Dr. Van Dorn not only about the latest breakthrough they've been able to find in genetic testing, but also giving doctors and patients better understanding of the predispositions of mental health and wellness and ways that they can lead to be able to manage it. If you're just now finding out about Genomind, of course, we'll let you know where to find out more information. But Dr. Van Dorn, thank you so much for the time today. I really appreciate it. No, thank you for having me. So this is something that we've been talking ironically a lot about, especially this year, and that is the importance of our mental health. One of the things, of course, all of us have been doing more of because we've been instructed for our own safety, Dr. Van Dorn, is social distancing. But what have you noticed about what social distancing may be doing and affecting mental health with others? Well, it's, it's, sort, of, um, it's sort of a contradiction or, or it's a um, paradox that we have to deal with. This entire year, for almost an entire year, We've been uh, living with a constant sense of fear and loss, all while being denied the social uh, support structures that would normally help us cope and recover. Um, so this, I mean, this is especially poignant during this time of year, during the holiday season and going into the new year. But those who are already struggling with their mental health, this is, they're particularly vulnerable. And, and as I said, you know, people are normally trying to look at ways to be able to improve moving into a new year, Dr. Van Dorn. And, of course, mm-hmm. mental health is going to be such an important thing. Uh, how can we kind of make that a priority as we're heading into the new year? Yeah, well, I, I think you, you actually nailed it right on the head, and I was actually very pleased for, to hear you say that because I've been saying this for many time, for, for a long time with many of my patients, um, that mental health is just as important as our physical health. And like yeah. our physical health, there are things we can do to sustain and improve our mental health. And so what I'd like to introduce to you to is, is what my company works on, is, is a more personalized approach using genetic testing to, to approach this. Uh, this is based on a model we call Mental Health 360. Though this, we know that our mental health um, is a function of the interplay between our genetics and our environment, our lifestyle, our experiences. Uh, and yet, for, traditionally, we've only had access to three out of those four components. Genetic testing allows us to unlock that crucial fourth component to show us how we are predisposed to react to our environment, because not everyone reacts the same way for tra- to trauma, for example. Not everyone reacts to the same medications used for depression and anxiety. So there are actually um, two genetic tests that I'd like to, to mention. Uh, the first sure. of these is called Genomine Professional PGX Express. So that's a mouthful. This is essentially a prescription test, a prescription test because it has to be ordered by a prescribing clinician because it informs on medication therapy, personalized medication therapy for depression, anxiety, ADHD, and other conditions. Now, many people don't know that the FDA provides genetic-based guidance on many of these medications, uh, what we should do with it or not do with it to avoid serious adverse events. And yet many patients who are struggling with their mental health are forced to follow this uh, trial and error approach when it comes to drug therapy, uh, which has led to far too many treatment failures. So uh, to put this into context, you know, prior to the x-ray, before the x-ray was invented, doctors essentially had to guess how to set a broken bone with mixed results, to say the least. Today, yeah. no doctor would even dream of setting a bone without an x-ray. Well, you can essentially think of this prescription test as a x-ray that allows for a smarter, personalized prescriber Uh, prescribing guidance for life. Now, that's the prescription test, and that's for people, you know, basically for doctors and their patients. This next test that you you mentioned at the beginning is uh, we just launched earlier this year. This is really a breakthrough for mental health and wellness. This is called the Genomind Mental Health Map. Now, this is available without a prescription, 
and includes seven different genetic reports that allows us to explore how we are wired, how we are predisposed to interact with our environment. So, for example, uh, some people are genetically predisposed to a heightened stress response. That means a, a biological sensitivity to stress. Now, these individuals on their mental health map in the stress and anxiety report would see guidance on how, personalized guidance on how to improve their stress, stress resilience. Now, other predispositions we check for would be habit-forming potential, emotional eating, focus, and multiple aspects of sleep. So whereas the prescription test is for doctors and patients to work on drug therapy, uh, the mental health map actually introduces that other crucial point, what we can do for ourselves to take ownership of our behavior. Uh, it's for everyone at any point on your mental health journey. It's essentially an expert starting point for mental health and wellness. Dr. Vendor, when I was prepping for this segment, I think an obvious question that I, I know I need to ask you for our audience is this. Are you surprised, or has it been a surprise, maybe I should ask it this way, for those that you talk to about the connection to our genetics and the way that our mental health is, can be impacted? No, absolutely. So I, one thing that, that I forgot to mention is with each mental health map, and actually do the same thing for the PGX Express test for clinicians, is it's not just a test, it's not just a product, but we offer ourselves. We are dedicated to improving mental health and wellness. So each test comes with a consultation. It comes with access to trained Genomind advisors who help guide clients, who help guide users through the results and show them how to take uh, control of that behavior, how to navigate it, how to use the resources, insights, and actions. And I can tell you firsthand, because I've, I've taken part of this, uh, I've, I've led the team and trained them to provide this guidance, speaking to people who have been struggling for so long or struggling silently uh, because, because of the, the, the stigma of mental health, um, they don't know how to talk about their, what they're struggling with. When they see that this is real, this is based on biology, this isn't just something that's in my head, I'm not weak, it's a profound and transformative experience for them and I've seen firsthand how this can actually accelerate, lower the threshold for them to seek care uh, to get on that path, uh, that path to wellness. Great information, Dr. Van Dorn. So glad you could join us. Again, everyone, Dr. Daniel Van Dorn has been our guest. He's a senior medical science liaison and lead scientist at GentleMind. who has been sharing with us some great information to help you all, not only, of course, in maintaining your mental health, but also being able to see how you might be able to even handle predispositions to certain mental illnesses as well. So, uh, Dr. Van Dorn, where can our audience go for more information? Absolutely. Well, I want to point out, so it's the, the mental health map doesn't, it's not, it doesn't um, diagnose mental illness. There is no okay. depression gene. There's no anxiety gene. It actually looks at how we're predisposed to thrive or struggle. And that can Got play you. a large role in mental illness, but it's, not, it's definitely not, uh, it, it doesn't diagnose. But more information can be found on both these tests and the solutions they offer at genomind.com. That's G-E-N-O-M-I-N-D.com. All right, gentlemen.com, and we'll make sure that we link that up for our audience. Dr. Van Doren, again, thank you so much for sharing this important information with us and looking forward to speaking with you again. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Hey, glad to do it. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live, and let's go make today amazing. Take care. <laughs>